Hi everybody, here we are back floating above the sky in Cyberpunk 2077 and in this video I wanted to talk about the very easy way to install mods on Cyberpunk 2077, Nexus mods that is, and that is using the Vortex app. Um, if you've done any modding on games like Daisy, you know, it can be can be a little bit tricky to say the least but vortex oh my gosh makes things so much easier so let's quit out of here and i can show you what i am talking about so first things first as with um most things to do with modding on cyberpunk uh, 2077 you want to go over to nexus mods i'll put links in the description below the video um and you'll want to create an account and then within your account obviously you want to um, add cyberpunk as the game and then what you'll want to do is you'll want to go to um, the install vortex link and you'll want to download vortex which is this separate app um, and then you want to fire it up um, and then when you're in vortex when you first uh, get up it will give you some tasks to do and the first thing you really want to do is link um, is sign in to um, uh, nexus mods from Vortex, so it links your two accounts. That way, when you're in um, uh, when you're in Nexus Mods and you choose a uh, where are I? and you choose a, a, a mod to download. So let's have a look. So I wanted to have a go with say immersive first person. So if I click on that, you'll see it says download Vortex, and if I click on that. And then we click on slow download. If I now go to Vortex and I go to my mod section, you'll see, hopefully, immersive first person has appeared. So it's recognized the fact that I've clicked on the website and it downloads it. However, to get things working, what, what you want to do first is you want to add Cyberpunk as a game. So it's a game, game that you ma manage. Um, if you've already manually downloaded some um, games, some mods, sorry, and installed them using the method where you know you download them to your computer, you go down to go into your Cyberpunk file, whether that be the Steam location on the the GOG file, and then you go into the bin folder, X64 plugins, Cyber Engine tweaks, mods, and then you've got your mods. If you've done it manually like that, don't worry, you, you can still get them into. Um, Vortex, just go back to where they are on the website um, and just um, download them again with the Vortex link and it will download them. However, sometimes you, you, you'll get a bit stuck probably at the beginning and the mods that you download won't be working with Cyberpunk because there's a couple of problems you'll have and you may well see some little um, tooltips, some little things that come up that say that your mods aren't um, being deployed and fixed. Um, you can click the fix buttons, but what you're looking for is in your mods, you see I've disabled one there, if you go into settings and then you go to the mod section, what you want is you want your mods to be the staging folder to be on the same drive that your cyberpunk game is. So for example, when I first started using Vortex, my staging folder was on my C drive. Now cyberpunk is actually on my D drive. So it wouldn't particularly work. So you can say fix, and it'll, it'll, it'll fix it for you, or you can go in and you can click on the folder browser and just make up a, a name of a folder on the same drive that your Cyberpunk installation is on and stick it in there. So it, so it puts your mods in there. And then the next thing is it must be a hard link uh, deployment. So that's the type of... Um, type of method that the game should use and then what you should see is in your mods you'll get a, a thing to deploy your mods and that will then deploy them and then what in effect what happens then is vortex copies the mods into the correct folders within your um version of cyberpunk 2077 it's very clever um and the beauty of doing this is that you can update your mods easily um if a mod is crashing, you know, and isn't working properly, you can easily disable it as well. Because, you know, what happens is when the developer, say CD Projekt Red, comes out with a new um, a, a new version of the game, say 
if the, um, the the mods will then need to be updated often. Um, so you can disable them until, it's been, until the mods have been updated. This will update them automatically, and then you can re, uh, re-enable them, so they'll work that way. Very, very powerful. And simply, once you've, once you've downloaded them, you just fire up the game, um, and they're there ready to be used. Obviously, what you'll need to do is within each particular mod, you need to know the instructions on you know, how to use the mod, what, what buttons you have to press to get it to work, all that sort of stuff. Um, but uh, it's absolutely fantastic and makes modding so much easier. Right, hopefully that was useful. If it has been, hit like. If you want to see more, same, press subscribe. And I will, of course, see you again soon.